and one line from the sketch. So you can see this is a little bit uh, of extra steps that you have to take and that's what constraints are. Uh, you basically have to go through that in order to just tell it what size it is. Um, so it's 47.5. So let's go back and do the 47.5. And that makes that line or that width 47.5. Now I want to do this one here. But as you can see, uh, let me see. Oh, that's just under there. So it doesn't show. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same here. And um, notice this time I selected the line, not the two points. So it doesn't matter. On those, you can do either from what I can tell here. But uh, if I go back to my picture and look at the size or uh, the length, 84.3. This is just my example here. So we go ahead and make 84.3 millimeters. So there's my rectangle. And you can move that too, so that's pretty good. Now let's go to, uh, I mean that covers basically just the very basics on how you get that number. And the reason I want to cover that is because this is very important for me. I like to see and kind of get my numbers in there exactly how they are. Um, another thing I didn't mention was uh, if I click on there and press delete, I'm going to make a line right here from here to I don't know right here in order to close the sketch or uh, make sure your sketch is close uh, you obviously have to have the lines uh, what do you call it uh, touching so in order to zoom in and out I just use the scroll on my mouse and then I press the scroll up and down and hold it and then I can uh, go ahead and uh, zoom in and out and just on that point and you know click and hold it and to move uh, whatever I want to look at so that one looks close uh, I don't know if you noticed earlier that it turned green I think it was or it turned different a different color so telling me that uh, it actually connected there now this is not connected so how do you do that um, now what I want to do is uh, basically go and select that and say create a coincident constraint on the selected item so you use this circle dot whatever you want to call it and then you have to click on where you want to connect to so you click on that and now that's closed so I know these are closed because we did a rectangle earlier so if you ever get a pro uh, problem where, where your sketch is not doing what it's supposed to be doing that's what you want to look at so those are the basic uh, components of actually creating a sketch which I was dreading and I thought it was pretty bad until I started doing it again I realized okay it's not that bad I mean I, I don't know I just I guess I turn off my brain from all of this just because uh, I find that extra steps are just you know take forever and I don't know I just don't care for it anymore so let me go ahead and uh, do it here on uh, Design Spark. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I don't want to save it. <clears throat> and I'll show you what I do here. So we're going to go create a new design just to test this. Go to Plan View. I've already used this program quite a bit, so I'm more familiar with it. So basically, the same thing here. I'm going to choose a rectangle here. Uh, icons are a little smaller. And you don't have the name, but I guess I'm just used to it too. So make that and see how the uh, numbers highlight it. I can already input uh, the numbers 84.3 since it's highlighted. 84.3, oops, 84.3. That gives me that. And then I can tab and go to the next number. It gives me 47.5, uh, 47.5. Of course, I'm just using this as an example here. And if I hit the uh, scroll bar and hold it down, this one works a little differently because remember, I'm on the sketch. So, what I want to do is just go home, just like uh, I did earlier. Home is the uh, isometric, or they call it 
trimetric here. Um, I'm so used to ISO, but uh, whatever. Um, so now I just go ahead and pull this up. I choose the, the, the sketch, go up, I don't know, say uh, six millimeters. I'm done. Uh, and I'm done with my uh, uh, rectangle. And obviously that didn't take me as long as it did to uh, get this one on uh, here. So now I'm gonna now that I know the dots are done or uh, everything is close, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, oh let me do something a little different here. Trying to uh, remember where I did it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I took it off. The reason it's off because I deleted that. If you remember. So that's 84.3, 84.3. Now, uh, the other line has to be the same and the bottom one has to be the same. So in order to do that, what you can do is basically uh, select both lines and see the equal sign here. Uh, you click that and then uh, if I click here and try to do a dimension it gives me 84.3 which is the same one so you know you have it exactly the same and the same with this too so we do uh, and uh, what do I call it I'm trying to remember what they call it uh, an equality constraint or just make it equal I mean that's what it is uh, to make them the same I'm not sure how to view the uh, dimension on the bottom yet because I haven't used it that much I just started using it today again but this is how I do it I just click on here and it shows me what it is um, or you can add it but I don't think you need to after you do that so now all my sides are the same I go ahead and close my sketch and um, if I <clears throat> hit the scroll uh, button and hold it and I move it up and down see this one just goes up and down it doesn't like uh, turn like on the other program so that's it's one of the other differences I mean it's nothing not a big deal but uh, just so that you guys know so what they call here uh, extrusion is basically a different uh, name they call it uh, not a pocket where did it go a pad there we go so I'm trying to get the ISO look over here but I'll just do it this way so I did that and it automatically makes it 10 millimeters. Um, so I can go ahead and change it here to 6 and it, bam, there it is. So I have now the same thing on both sides. Um, so basically that's the difference between uh, constraints and the uh, parametric. I guess they're both parametric. I, I haven't talked about this forever so I'm trying to remember what's what but I'll just call this one your uh, push-pull version of a cat software where you can just do that you know pull it up pull it down and the other one here uh, free cat I have to basically uh, specify each uh, part uh, through the constraints and that those two are the main differences but you know most of the programs use this type so once you get the hang of this it should be okay um, and like anything else it's just a matter of uh, using it and trying it out I mean this is just the most basic um, uh, parts of this on how to use it which is what I was looking for because I can't remember to be honest but um, it's something that I think it will be helpful for other people so I wanted to make this video just for that you know just to get you started so I hope that helps somebody uh, or you know at least it was uh, helpful in some way so there you go that's the uh, <clears throat> basic creation of a uh, rectangle on uh, FreeCAD and uh, Design Sparks <laughs>